this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. F-150 truck. He had an unauthorized inauguration credential, according to a DC police report. He also had decals on his vehicle, including if they come for your guns, give them your bullets first. That aroused some suspicion. Turns out he had two nine millimeter handguns in the car, more than 500 rounds of ammunition, shotgun shells as well. And he was what up? This is this channel guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification. We bring a whole lot of um, content and stuff. We bring, don't get complacent. We bring a whole lot of stuff over here. So with that said, I appreciate y'all smash that like button and everything. I appreciate the one been sticking with me through the good, the bad, and the ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So we're going to get into it. Now, I know you've seen the headlines and stuff about the uh, Virginia man arrested with 500 rounds. Now, before we get into it, we're going to hear his version and stuff of the incident, and then we're going to talk about it. And it was just an accident that was made because I forgot to take my time to leave for work and take my firearm out of the truck before I left Virginia. The moment they said they were going to search the K-9, I, I remembered that it was in the vehicle. You know, I was in such a rush that day and I was really nervous. I was, I really was because I know there's different laws. I don't know what the laws are in D.C. I'm not a bad person and all I've ever, do, ever done was try to help people, especially in being corrections, to try to lead people to a better path. Not what I want to, you know, be known for. I've always tried to pick a job that was good for, you know, the portion of the world that I'm in. Scary more for the fact that I want to be with my family and I don't know where this is going to go because I have to go back to court. So, uh, to my, you heard the gentleman's side of the story. Now, you know, I want to pretty much spin you around um, different than what you're seeing in your media and your headlines and stuff like that. This is what's happening to gun owners, people in this country, people. They're taking little of these incidents like this. They're singling gun owners out and they're, you know, using it as headlines. You know, they're blowing it up. I'm talking about, you know, they trying to make this um, gun owner here as, you know, a terrorist and all this kind of stuff. They're trying to deem him and make it seem like, you know, he was up to some no, no good. You know, I've been seeing on social media, uh, you know, this was a test or, you know, whatever the case may be. I'm talking about. Up to my when you when you start to see the movement in this country and stuff when it comes to the law abiding citizen. Up to my this guy made an honest mistake. Up to my it happened to a lot of people. I've been going over articles for years. You know, when you have people who stand in Virginia and stuff, you know, state and close to other states where the laws change. When you're carrying a farm every single day or you leave a gun in your vehicle and stuff, and you you know, you're used to doing that and it slips your mind, you're busy and stuff, and you go to another state. This had happened to many gun owners, people, many gun owners. And, you know, unfortunately, this guy was in D.C. Until my, he hit with an unregistered farm, unregistered ammunition and stuff. These are the spiderweb traps that I've been talking about. These are the, the loopholes that the system create. And, you know, and like I said, you know, the media is blowing this up. We're in pretty much, um, you know, unvolatile times and stuff as gun owners and stuff. You know, you already have... Um, the administration who's coming in right now saying, hey, you know, we're going to come after your ammo. We're going to come after your farms and stuff. And the media is playing right into it, people. The media is playing right into it. Social media, everything. They I'm talking about they have pretty much blown this thing, blown this thing up. Look how much coverage that you're getting on this one Virginia man who, you know, accidentally just had, you know, a firearms, ammunition and stuff. And, you know, he was working with a contract, you know, his credentials and stuff was invalid and stuff. I'm talking about, they just pretty much blowing it out of the water, people. I watched so much coverage on this. So much coverage. So, I'm talking about, this is the stuff that we're going to have to deal with as gun owners, people. I'm talking about, you know, the stars are lining up. That's why we said we got a long fight ahead over here. You know, this man has been dragged and stuff. You know, all he's worrying about is his family and stuff like that. Now he's all, he's caught all up in this and everything. I'm talking about, like I said before, people, man, I'm talking about when, when you're carrying farms in your car and your vehicle and stuff like that, I'm talking about you got to stay on top of this stuff now. I'm talking about I had talked about a lot of articles where, you know, I, I even uh, went over an article where a security guard who was carrying ammunition, I think it was hollow points or somewhere, I think it was New Jersey, Connecticut, something like that, you know, he went through the mud, went through the mud and stuff, and he was a, a security guard. 
he had uh you know uh pretty much licensed stuff to carry and stuff but he they drug him through the mud before you know in this in this court case and stuff before he his charges and stuff would drop and you know this this is what's happening to gun owners people this is what's happening to gun owners in this country and everything so like i said before people i'm talking about you know pay attention if when you're traveling and stuff if you are a contractor and stuff you're carrying farms and ammunition watch where you go at and stuff because a lot of these states got these traps out here with these laws and everything and unfortunately this guy hope that all the charges drop from him he you know he can return back to work uh be with his family and stuff like that but you know this has been blown up by the media people so i want you to see what is going on right now in 2021 I want you to see what's going on. So I tell my this probably gonna be continuing and everything. So we're gonna be watching this and everything. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.